Okay, what we have is a replica of a 59 Porsche Speedster here, and in a second I'll show you the Spider on the other side. Both these cars run on battery, 100% electric. The um, battery pack is in the back. This is a lithium iron phosphate pack, and um, this is about a third of the pack here. The lithium pack weighs about 250 pounds, and I can drive about 40 miles on that pack. This is the charger. You can plug it in anywhere from um, the normal 110 to 220, and it figures it out and charges appropriately. The power comes into this device, which is an inverter, through the batteries, and it inverts it into three-phase AC to a motor that's about a it's a 40 kilowatt motor, so it's about 50 horsepower. From there, it goes into the transaxle, and we use it just like the normal motor. It's interesting that with this car, um, this electric motor is about the same power and torque that the original model had. So we get pretty much the same performance with this vehicle as, as we did when Porsche sold it back in the, in the late 60s. Uh -huh. um, the way this car is set up now, it's set up to go about 40 miles on this small pack, but we can get 120 miles if you need extra range. So. That was one thing I was going to ask you. You told me a minute ago you could get over 100 miles, so it's a matter of what? A different size battery pack? Or? We put a little larger pack in. Um, this, this can have like a small, medium, or large pack, and I try to design the pack to kind of match the needs of the person who's going to drive the car. So. If you're going to commute 30 or 40 miles, you don't necessarily need to spend the money to buy the really expensive pack. You could get a smaller pack. Right. And then if you need to change, we can always add cells later to increase the range. So, okay. So let's take a quick look over at this car, and it's a little different. This car is also made by Beck. It's a Beck. It's a replica of a 550 Spider. Okay, so both of these cars are replicas. Both of them are replicas. Okay. The first one was a 356 Speedster. This is a 550 Spider. Okay. Um, as you see right away, the diff there's a big difference in the battery pack. This is a lead acid battery pack. This pack weighs about 800 to 850 pounds and has roughly the same range. So you can see that. Lithium has a lot of advantage in terms of weight and power. It also has a large advantage in the fact that it'll last five to seven years, whereas lead's going to last um, really about 500 cycles or you know, maybe two years. Um, okay, so this pack is 800 pounds. The other one was how much again? 250. Okay. So, it, so it's the same amount of energy, same amount of energy. just a different weight. Yes. And that's because of the uh, power ratio or energy ratio. Yes, the chemistry the different, yeah. between lithium iron phosphate and um, your classic lead acid battery. If you look at the motor again, you can see it, it's roughly the same size. It looks a little larger because it has some fins on there to help with the cooling. But again, it goes right into the transfer case and into the transaxle and provides about the same amount of power. This is about a 40 horsepower motor. And it's also three-phase AC. The advantages of AC are really that um, AC runs at about 90 to 94 percent efficiency, whereas a DC motor runs at about 85 to 90 percent efficiency. The front of this car, you can also see um, the item that looks like a hot plate there with the two uh, hot plates. People ask me if I cook breakfast on it a lot, but no, that's that's the inverter for this one. And as you can see, it's quite a bit larger than the one on the, on the maroon car. This inverter is um, capable of um, processing about 320 volts. So it actually has more volts, a little less current, but it generates a little more heat. Okay. So it's cooled a little bit more substantially. Yeah, so those things you call hot plates are actually fans, right? They're fans, yeah. 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 And that keeps the um, controller working at the right temperature. Uh -huh. And you can see instead of having three cables that the other inverter had, we just have the one large cable. Inside that cable there's actually three smaller cables that are um, 
put together to create the three-phase AC current. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, I see there's a charger there, and it looks like it's connected through the, what, well, it should be the gas can. Yeah, right? this is a cool <laughs> little touch on this car is that we can fuel it right through the, the original gas yeah. tank. Um, and then I have the charging connector looks like a normal 110 volt power cord. Right, adapter, this right? one is actually a 220 only, but we generally set them up to run on either 110 or, uh -huh. or 220. Okay. But um, it, it has a, a unique sort of format. Yeah. We do so that. So you run through, you, you would run 220 through that connector? Yes. Okay. That's a certified 220 30 amp connector. Oh, it is? Uh, yeah. And we like to put our own connectors on to keep oh, people from... Oh, that's different than a normal 120 volt connector. The, right. the spades are different. Like right. Okay, I see that, yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna have a few tools in here because I'm at the show and I had to disconnect a few things to be legal oh, for the show. electric car? Yes, sir. What's an electric? So anyway, that's, this okay. is the Spider. So All right. uh, to me, it's like the most beautiful car ever made. I just love the, the look of the Spider. Yeah. yeah.